Rod Wave just dropped a fire album. So today I'm going to show you how to make those crazy pain beats from scratch. You know those beats filled with emotion and kinda sad, but now let's get into it. Okay, I just loaded up FL and let's set the BPM to 166, something like that. Now like 90% of these beats are made either with a piano or with a guitar. In general, it's easier to use a piano and that's what we are going to do. I'm going to use this close grand piano from the stock FL packs. You can find it here and it sounds crazy. So let's set the scale to G sharp minor and, and let's start by laying down a chord so we can skip a note of the scale and skip another one now the usual progression that they use in these beats is this one where we go down to the seventh note of the scale and then to the sixth one yeah that's good but i want to see if it's going to sound good if we change this chord to e major You know, I think something like this can work. Now, usually when you make chord progressions, pay attention also to the bounce. If you want to make it sound more human, just don't place your chords every bar. That is going to sound a lot robotic. If you shift this... Yeah, it has more emotion. Oh, and if you are struggling to find your chords, always follow the skip one and skip one rule. So also here we can skip one and skip one and we get this major chord. We can try to shift up the middle notes. And to make it sound more human, let's click Alt S, so we can strum the notes. Yeah, that's good. And then we can play around also with the velocities of them. So I want this top note to be a bit louder, and then we can randomize them manually a bit. Okay, let's try to pitch this down. <laughs> we could leave it like this, but we can add some notes between the chords just to give to it more bounce. Yeah, without overcomplicating it. Okay, that's good. We can also add some notes here at the end. They're always going to sound good. We can follow the scale up. Oh yeah, yeah. And we can copy these notes up an octave and maybe shift them a bit. Now we can just copy this over and I want to create some variation here at the end. And we can try to add a chord. Ooh. Yeah, and to create even more variation, we can also add some top notes here. And of course we need to play a game with the velocities. Yeah man, that's crazy. Yeah man, I really like this melody. And I think it's pretty much finished, we just need to add some effects on it. So let's always start with an EQ. Remove these really low frequencies. And then we can add also some reverb. Let's also add this rabbit tape to make it sound a bit more vintage. Yeah, that's fire. Okay, so the most difficult part is done. In fact, after we made that first melody, we just need to add some textures and counter melodies to have some variation to play with. So right now I'm going to add a bass because we're going to need it for the intro and it helps me to find counter melodies actually. So I'll go in my finish kit. Let's try this one. Now we can activate the envelope and have only the hold all the way up. So it will stop playing when I stop pressing the note. And we can just go here, copy all the bass notes and paste them in the bass. Okay, this sounds crazy, but later we're going to add an 808, and I don't like how it sounds in A because it's too low, so I think I'm going to pitch everything up to F.
Let's remove this attack because we don't need it for this bit by moving this sample starter knob. Yeah, I like that. Okay, now I want to add a catchy counter melody on this. In general, in the album, they used a lot of guitars, vocals and orchestral instruments in general. So I'll open my Phoenix Bank because I want to add a choir. Yeah, this one sounds insane. Now we can change the scale lighting to F minor and to create those counter melodies, I use a simple strategy. I like to add the root note and then create a melody only changing the upper one. We can try to repeat this. And here we need to change something, so let's try to go down again. Man, this sounds insane. And this works well also because we left some space at the start and it's really important to leave some space for other instruments or for the flow of the artist. So now I'm just going to copy this over. And add some reverb on this. And then EQ because I want to filter it. Let's bend this on the right so it will have its own space. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay, now I want to add another counter melody on this using a guitar because they use them a lot in this beat. So I'm going to open Driller. Let's try this one, and I want to kinda of follow the counter melody that we just made. Nah, I don't like how this melody is turning out. Uh, let's start with the third note of the scale instead. That's a river on this. Now let's add also this box echo chorus. That's insane man, I really like this. Okay, now we have a main melody and two counter melodies. And I want to add some vocals too on this. And I'll try to find them in splice. I downloaded the first one. Sounds insane. It's at 90 BPM, but if we click to fit the tempo and insert 90 It's going to make it sound too fast, so I'm just going to write 180, that is double 90 Yeah, and let's pitch this up Man, I'm gonna cry, this is crazy. I don't think this needs more effects. It sounds crazy. Okay, now this is perfect and we could just add some crazy drums on this. But I want to add also a synth phrase to make it sound a bit more unique. So I go in my Phoenix kit. This one is strange, but I think this could work. Yeah, man. I don't know why, but I really like it. We need to filter it. Yeah. So now we can split by channel and try to arrange it a little bit so we can see if we have enough variation. So of course we can start with the piano and also the bass. Yeah, those are the vocal. Yeah, the texture creates some variation. And let's start directly with the chorus. So let's add the first choir that we made. Yeah, that's crazy. Then for the second part of the verse, and here the vocal can come in, and later the texture. Yeah. Then we can have only the piano, like this. So the verse can be simple. And then on the second part of the verse, we can have the guitar.
And now it's finally time for the drums. So I'll use the drums from the Nebula Multi Kit. And by the way, guys, if you want to check it out, the link is in the description. And all my kits are currently at a low price because where I live, it's time for discounts. So don't miss out. Let's start with a clap. Let's use this one. And keep it simple. But let's try to pitch it down. Yeah, that's better. Now let's add the hi-hats. And we can click fill each two steps. And here we don't need to overcomplicate it. We can just add a roll at the end of two bars. We can copy this over. And create some variation on the second part. Then we can click Alt R to randomize the pen and the velocity. And also the pitch a bit. Now we can add the hat too. Let's use this one. And we can use it to create bounce before the clap. Yeah, that's good. And we can also add a snare too. Let's use this one. Oh, that's bouncy. Yeah, I like that. And now it's finally time for the 808. And here they use the speeds too. So we can just copy again the bass notes that we made with the piano and we can paste them here. Ooh. Yeah man, I like that. And here we need to go up. Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. So, hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, remember to drop a sub, like, and comment. And check out this video if you want to see some hard beats.